According to some zoologists, these impressive leaps serve to get rid of the parasites, though others believe they do it simply for fun. Whatever the purpose, it is a spectacular demonstration of their incredible power, capable of lifting these monsters right out of the water. At birth, these whales measure 5 meters in length and can weigh over 2,000 kilos. And that is just a start. During the first two months of their lives, they grow 3.5 centimeters a day, a record in the animal kingdom. During these first stages of growth, the mother is extremely attentive to her child, even helping it to breathe by swimming beneath it and lifting it up to the surface. With a ban on hunting, we might think that these giant cetaceans have nothing to fear. But unfortunately, peace does not always reign in this natural paradise. A wound is a sure sign that predators are around. The orcas, or killer whales, have come to the Valdez Peninsula attracted by the abundance of prey swimming in these waters. The orcas are the only predators, apart from man, who represent a danger for the right whales. The adults are not easy prey, but a young whale caught alone stands no chance against a family of orcas and its coordinated attacks. The mothers become extremely vigilant, gather together in groups and surround the young in order to defend them. These, unaware of the danger, continue to play quite happily. While their mothers are close by, the young whales feel protected, even when there are killer whales prowling around in the vicinity. A change in the weather marks the arrival of the southern spring, and the peninsula receives one of the last rains that will fall here in the rest of the year. The sea lions have not yet moved to their breeding grounds. They are in the south of the peninsula, and also threatened by the most feared of all visitors. A family of orcas prowls along the coast in search of food. This time, however, their target is not the sea lions, but relatives of theirs who have already begun breeding. The female elephant seals are now in heat. The males, who had already established their territories and harems in August, must again defend them. The young are repelled with ease, but when the competitor is an adult, a terrible clash is inevitable. Ah! 
With their sharp teeth, the males try to wound their opponent on the neck or head. And this is the victor's spoils, an entire harem of 14 females that the defending male had managed to collect as a result of innumerable fights. A prize well worth the effort. On this occasion, he has again been able to retain control over his harem, but this will not be the last time he will have to fight. In the course of the month, each of the females will come into heat, and other pretenders will seek to conquer his fiefdom. After the battle, the victor exercises his rights over the females he owns. The female has little to say in matters of reproduction. The master of the harem, aroused by the combat, assails his mate, immobilizing her beneath his 2,000 kilos in weight, and copulates. The difference in size makes any attempt at resistance futile. During the breeding season, the male does not eat, and so after 10 weeks of fasting and intense exercise, his weight can drop by as much as 40%. For the time being, however, his strength remains intact, and he demonstrates it by mounting all the females in the harem as they come into heat. The females are not all receptive at the same time. The last ones to arrive on the peninsula are not yet ready to mate. They still have three weeks of breastfeeding, during which time the fur of the young will change from black to gray, and they will put on weight. At birth, they weigh 45 kilos, which will rise to 250 kilos at the end of this period. The females also do not eat during this time, and so if they have not accumulated sufficient reserves, they will not be able to provide their young with enough nutrition to guarantee their survival. This pup has been abandoned by its mother and will very quickly die of starvation. As the breeding season of the elephant seals comes to an end, that of their close relatives, the sea lions, begins. The males arrived around the middle of December in order to stake out their territories and wait for the females. Since then, there have been constant fights among them, though generally threats are enough to dissuade the weaker one from any attempt to fight. The females arrive shortly after, and after giving birth, they are again ready to breed. They can copulate from one to three times, and not always with the same male. They all arrive at the same time, and the breeding season can last for two months. This is a severe test for the males, who during all this time do not eat and hardly sleep. Gradually, their strength diminishes, and competitors prowling around the harems manage to escape their vigilance and copulate with a female even if it is in secret and beneath the water. <laughs> 